Hello, I'm Dr. Joe of the DrJoe.com. Well, when it comes to blood sugar, all foods aren't created equal. Some foods will send your blood sugar rocketing through the roof. Others will keep your blood sugar within the low normal range. If your metabolic health is important to you, and it should be, uh, then you should be eating foods that won't spike your blood sugar. Now, you're in luck because I've got a selection of 11 foods that you can eat confidently without any blood sugar concerns. What are these foods? Well, let's talk about them after the channel intro, shall we? See you shortly. If you want 2020 ideas to better health, you've come to the right channel. Hosted by the warm and lovely Dr. Joe. Now, for today's topic, please welcome on stage, Dr. Joe. Hello, I'm Dr. Joe of the drjoe.com. This presentation is about foods that will raise your blood sugar. Now, why is this necessary? Well, if you eat foods that spike your blood sugar, you're going to spike your insulin levels. And high insulin levels is not ideal for your metabolic health. So one of the things you can do to protect your health is to eat foods that won't raise your blood sugar. So I've got some examples of some foods that I would recommend that you can eat that won't raise your blood sugar. So let's get started. The first one is broccoli. I love broccoli. Uh, broccoli belongs to the cabbage family. It's actually classified as a superfood. Broccoli is a very good source of fiber. Believe it or not, broccoli actually does have protein. Broccoli contains proteins. And apart from that, you get a nice supply of vitamins from broccoli, vitamins A, B, C, E, and K. Broccoli is also a good source of iron, potassium, magnesium, calcium. Now, one of the things I like about broccoli is that it contains a phytochemical called sulforaphane. Sulforaphane is what gives broccoli that slightly bitter taste. And indeed, there is some evidence to suggest that the sulforaphane may help with the prevention of cancer. There's also some suggestion that the sulforaphane may help with type 2 diabetes. Blueberries is another food that you can eat that won't raise your blood sugar. Of course, with blueberries, you get a good source of vitamin C. Uh, blueberries help with the absorption of iron. And blueberries are also rich in elagic acid and anthocyanidins. This is what gives blueberries that beautiful blue indigo color that you see. Anthocyanidins are actually good for your blood vessel health because they protect the integrity of the blood vessel, blood vessel wall, which means blueberries are actually very good for your cardiovascular health. There is some evidence to suggest that when you eat blueberries with foods that potentially can spike you, blueberries will moderate the release of blood sugar from those foods, which means you're not going to have a blood sugar spike from that other food. Another food you want to eat that will spike your blood sugar is spinach. Spinach, of course, is a leafy green, and I can confirm that spinach will put a spring in your step. And that's because spinach is actually involved in the energy production in the cell. Spinach, the phytochemicals in spinach actually work at the level of the mitochondria, and that's how you know they will help with the energy production. But apart from that, spinach also has lots of iron. Indeed, somebody who is anemic uh, will do themselves a favor by actually uh, consuming spinach. Uh, the spinach will help with the you know, red blood cell production and uh, that will correct the anemia. Spinach is also a good source of vitamin A, B2, C and K. And uh, you know, spinach is also rich in folic acid. Apart from that, you also get manganese and magnesium from spinach, which will help with nerve function as well as you know, muscular function. The fourth food that you, you can eat that will raise your blood sugar is cauliflower. Cauliflower belongs to the brassica family. You don't want to overcook cauliflower because it can give that unusual funny smell. Uh, but you can take solace in the fact that cauliflower is very low in calories. Indeed, if you eat 100 grams of cauliflower, you're only going to get about 25 calories from it. It's low in fat. It's got some protein, just like broccoli. You also get fiber from eating cauliflower, uh, as well as vitamin B, C, and K. Cauliflower also contains phytochemicals called isothiocyanates, as well as glucosinolates, uh, which is a bit of a mouthful. These phytochemicals are actually protective of your health. Another food you want to eat that won't raise your blood sugar is almonds. Almonds are full of monounsaturated fat. They're a fantastic source of protein because they're nuts. Almonds, believe it or not, actually contain fiber. And almonds will supply you folic acid, vitamin B7, which is biotin, as well as vitamin E. 
you also get a nice supply of selenium, calcium, magnesium, and zinc from eating almonds. There is some research to suggest that when you eat 50 grams of almonds a day, it's actually protective of your heart, and that's because it, it contains monounsaturated fat. Eggs are another food you can eat that are guaranteed not to raise your blood sugar. Eggs are full of proteins. They contain vitamins A, B2, B12, and, and vitamin D. Eggs are a very good source of folic acid, and they also contain iodine. Now, there's always concern about eating eggs and cholesterol, but you don't have to worry too much about the cholesterol from eggs. Indeed, you should worry more about the cholesterol from other sources of saturated fat like red meat than you should with eggs. So long as you don't eat an unusual high amounts of eggs, you shouldn't be worried too much about uh, the cholesterol from eggs. Garlic is another food that will not raise your blood sugar. Garlic has been around for centuries. Indeed, it's a culinary spicy delight. It's a very good source of vitamin C and vitamin B6. Garlic will provide us with manganese, phosphorus, copper, iron, selenium, potassium, and calcium. And garlic actually contains a phytochemical called allicin. Allicin is what gives garlic the medicinal properties that we'll talk about. Sour cherries, they're not very popular, but, you know, we're missing out on a very good, you know, food that will not raise our blood sugar. Uh, sour cherries are also called tart cherries or pie cherries. They are smaller than the sweeter version. Sour cherries seem to glow, you know, they're quite red. It's got this nice red color, glowy red color. Um, and... That's because they contain anthocyanin. That's what gives it that very nice, beautiful red color. Uh, they also contain uh, quercetin as well as ellagic acid. Sour cherries, unlike the sweet variety, are very low in calories. Um, and sour cherries also has, you know, anti-inflammatory properties, which will support your overall health. Another food you want to eat that is guaranteed not to raise your blood sugar is salmon. Salmon, as you know, is quite nutritious. It's very high in protein. Indeed, if you consume 100 grams of salmon, you're going to get 25 grams of protein from the salmon, uh, which means a quarter of the salmon is actually made up of protein. It's a very good source of vitamin B12. And salmon also has selenium and potassium. Salmon is one of the best sources of omega-3 fatty acids. You were talking about EPA and DHA. Uh, and... One thing you have to remember is that omega-3 fatty acids are essential fatty acids, which means your body cannot make them. So salmon is a very good source uh, of uh, omega-3 fatty acids and is guaranteed not to raise your blood sugar. Mushrooms are another food you want to eat if you, want to, if you don't want to spike your blood sugar. Mushrooms contain a good amount of selenium um, and selenium has antioxidant properties. Mushrooms are a very, very good source of fiber. And there's some suggestion that eating mushrooms can actually prevent DNA damage, which means, you know, mushrooms may be ideal for cancer prevention. Mushrooms, when they're exposed to ultraviolet rays, they actually make, you know, their own vitamin D. So if you live in a place where sun exposure is lacking, uh, eating mushrooms is an indirect way of actually getting vitamin D from the sun. Mushrooms are a good source of uh the B group of vitamins as well. The 11th food I've got on this list that you can consume that is not going to spike your blood sugar is avocado. Avocados are rich in monounsaturated fat. They're a very good source of vitamin E as well. You get nice copper, potassium, and iron from eating avocados. Avocados will give you a nice supply of the B group of vitamins as well as folic acid. Now, one thing to note is that avocados are a fatty fruit, which means you want to be careful with how much avocado you eat because of the calorie content based on the fat in it. Uh, but in the same vein, the fat in avocado, uh, oleic acid and you know, linoleic acid, actually help with appetite regulation, which in turn helps with satiety. So, you know, it's a double-edged sword. So long as you don't eat too many avocados, you should be fine. And it's guaranteed that avocados are not going to spike your blood sugar. So, as you can tell, that was a very good spread of foods that you can actually eat without any blood sugar concerns. Right, here's the thing. I've got another selection of such foods. Uh, that's going to be another video. 
These are the kind of foods you should be eating. Uh, and when you eat these foods, you don't have to worry about blood sugar. And indeed, you will be protecting your metabolic health. Now, on my blog, I have an article that actually complements this video. It talks about, you know, carbohydrate foods that you can eat and uh, without actually spiking your blood sugar, the techniques you can use uh, to prevent uh, those carbs from spiking you. So uh, the link is in the description. Just follow the link in the description and uh, you can go onto my blog and read, you know, this article I'm talking about. Right now, if you found value from this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, uh, and also uh, leave me a comment below. These foods that I've just listed, try them out and let me know what you think. And if you've got any suggestions about other foods you want me to talk about, uh, just leave me a comment in the comment section as well. Um, oh, one more thing, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, hello, why haven't you subscribed? Well, hit the subscribe button. It's right there in the bottom right corner. Okay, hit that button. It only takes about three seconds. All right, just hit it. Uh, that's about it for now. Uh, I'll talk about some more foods, like I said, in another video. Until then, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.